Meanwhile, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie joined President Trump and his cabinet at the White House today, where the governor was named chair of a new presidential addiction commission. Trump pledged to step up efforts to battle the country's opioid addiction crisis, and Christie, who was dedicating his final year in Trenton to addressing the drug crisis in New Jersey, will now expand that role to a federal level, too. Action News reporter Christy Aletto is live in Delaware County after speaking to an addict who is now waging a desperate fight to stay clean. Christy? That's right, Jim. Joe McCloskey was a good high school student, a star hockey player, and never imagined that he would become yet another statistic addicted to prescription drugs. My name is Vito. I'm an alcoholic. Hey, Vito. Hey, Wednesday nights bring this group of recovering heroin and opioid users together at one of MVP Recovery's eight homes in Delaware County. Joe McCloskey has been clean for 80 days. When I was about 16 years old, I blew my knee out playing ice hockey, and I was probably overprescribed Percocet. It's crazy. After the first time I took one, um, as prescribed, I, I loved it. The 28-year-old would spend 12 years addicted and on a downward spiral. Honestly, the best thing that my family ever did for me was tell me, you got to go. I would have gone out. It put me in a position where I, I had to go get help. And, uh, Leading him to uh, rehab. I'm, just, I'm feeling grateful today. And then MVP recovery. We focus on how are they going to live their lives clean and sober moving forward. You're doing the right thing. Individuals go back to school. They start working. They start becoming financially responsible. Of last year's 182 drug-related deaths in Delaware County, 121 were heroin fentanyl related. Due to prescription drug use, um, heroin has made its way into any town USA. The program has expanded from six recovering addicts to 50 plus with a more than 90% success rate. What is the hope that your houses one day will be empty? The reality of it is that's never going to happen. That's the reality of it. But the hope is, is that individuals come in here and they can recover and they can move forward and they can become positive members of society. Now, McCloskey says the hardest part of recovery is mentally weaning yourself off of the drug. He says that he hopes that President Trump's task force focuses more on treatment and less on criminal punishment.